There are rumours this morning. Would you believe that Prince Andrew may be considering a return to public life? Royal editor Russell Myers is here. Surely he's not that tone deaf. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. He's looming again behind me. He's looming. <laughs> Don't look behind. <laughs> Listen, um, on the one hand, yeah, there are an awful lot more important things going on in the world. You betcha. You would have thought that uh, there wouldn't have been any noises coming from the camp. Now, this has sort of stemmed over the last few days because there's been another cascade of people dropping him. Of course, a couple of weeks ago, settled uh, this big civil sex mm -hmm. Assault case in the United States cost twelve million pounds. We're understanding, despite the fact he says he never made. Well, indeed, indeed, you know, and has always did denied those allegations. Indeed. But I think um, big year for the for the Queen, the royal family, platinum jubilee year. Um, now, the, the, one of his favoured golf clubs, the Royal Dornock Golf Club oh, in yeah. Scotland, yeah, has yeah. joined St Andrews in sort of washing their hands of him. However. Mm. Now, th th these sort of rumours are stemming because he still feels like he has a lot to offer public service. That's what one, really? of his, yeah, one of his friends said to me just last week, that he's still a young man, he's 62, he feels like he's got a lot to give. So could this be the resurgence of Prince Andrew? But awful, awful timing on this. I mean, it's just no. ludicrous because look at the news channels, look at all the exactly. papers. There is a heartbreaking stories going on and I think it would be much better for everybody involved if he was to sort of fade into the background and just leave it at that for just now. Just shut it. Indeed. And go away. Um, on much more important things, mm. uh, the royals have been actually support, you know, speaking out and supporting people in Ukraine. Well, they have because there was a, a lot of uh, talk about whether the Queen would make a statement, yes. and uh, she has been suffering from COVID herself. She has been forced to sort of take a, a little bit of a back mm -hmm. seat recently, but. It's a difficult one because don't necessarily see, see them all time commenting on, uh, on on big issues of uh, political nature. However, I think that goes far beyond oh, what is happening in Ukraine at the moment. So the Queen hasn't uh, made a statement as yet. So we may see something in due mm. course. But uh, William and Kate were the first ones this week. And... Um, they made it very personal, actually, and I thought that was quite an interesting touch because they had recently met the president and his wife. Ah, and in a, here's their statement. They said, in October 2020, we had the privilege to meet President Zelensky and the First Lady to learn of their hope and optimism for Ukraine's future. Today, we stand with the president and all of Ukraine's people as they bravely fight for that future. So, very good. Very, very laudable. Very good. Um, and we heard of, for, you know, from the others across the pond, William, uh, sorry, uh, Harry and Meghan made a statement on their Archwell website, mm -hmm. and then they were at uh, an awards ceremony during the weekend. They were at the uh, NC, NAACP Awards. They mm -hmm. were being given a special recognition for their public service. And uh, let's take a look what they had to say. We would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our continued support as a global community. <clears throat> OK, that's adds to, you know, why not? Why not? They've got a Indeed. platform. Yes. Why not? Now, you mentioned the Queen. Yes. And you mentioned she's still, um, you know, still obviously dealing with the after effects of COVID. She has cancelled another engagement, hasn't she? Now. So, so, so what's this about? Well, so last week, um, is it, yeah, it has, has got COVID. Um, did manage to speak to the Prime Minister Boris Johnson for their weekly call last Wednesday, right. but had cancelled a couple of uh, engagements virtually. I mean, who could blame her, to be honest? She's been told to take to her bed. She yeah. looked remarkable at the moment okay. when she was doing her uh, her engagements there. She's meeting some of the defence so chiefs. I know she's, she's lost so much weight. It's she has. I mean, you know, she is ninety five. She does she look a little terrific. bit frail. Yeah. But when she's having all her hair and makeup done, who could blame her for not getting ready? However, this was a, a diplomatic corpse reception, which was supposed to happen on Wednesday. But I wouldn't right. read too much into it okay. because it was on the advice of the Foreign Office because of the issues that is happening in Ukraine. Ah, so this okay. big reception, which had been scaled down mm -hmm. already, it wasn't going to be a big tea, tie and tiara day. It was going to be a bit more less tie formal. And tiara. <laughs> okay. A bit more less formal. <laughs> right. And uh, and I think it's, it's because of the uh, you know developing situation sure. in Ukraine she and has will to, be rescheduled. She has to take care of herself Absolutely. because the world needs her wise counsel. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. She is a very wise woman. And look at the stress she's been under yes. recently. And not yes. only with the Harry and Meghan stuff over the last few years, mm. Prince Andrew hasn't been out of the papers to do with that's this court much more case. Serious, and that's yeah. super stressful for her. And I think, yep. uh, you put your feet up, Mum. Exactly. But, you know, Boris Johnson in particular needs wise advice. Indeed, he and does, And yes. you can get that from 
the Queen. Now, what about this opportunity, every year opportunity, to work for Prince Charles? Well, um, I mean, do you fancy this? It's a, it's qu it's a what do you have to do? Well, they are looking for a new private chef. Oh, and, uh, yeah, that's I've that. I've got a couple of quick fire <laughs> questions. What do you think Prince Charles' favourite food is? I don't know, lark's tongue. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's more simple. It's a boiled egg, can oh, you right. believe? Okay. So, so I, I could think maybe do we that. could probably do that. I could maybe do that. Uh, however, his ideal meal is wild mushroom risotto oh. with uh, organic lamb, but the mushrooms obviously must be foraged from his own estate. So if you, uh, if you fancy working with Charles and Camilla, I, you know, good couple of bosses, I wouldn't mind working for them. So right. uh, get your, get your uh, applications into Clarence House. So a boiled egg, mushrooms that you have to pick in his estate, and what else? Well, that's about it, I okay, think, at the it, moment. That's it, that's so, it. Yep. Now, we Prince George, yes. he's been playing rugby at the weekend. Yes. And also might be changing... God, he's growing up, isn't he? he might is. be changing school. Well, yeah, I mean, he was in between his two parents because uh, Kate had just been made the patron of the English Rugby that's Football right. Union. That's right, absolutely. Uh, William is the patron of the Welsh Rugby Football Union. <laughs> and so he's caught in the middle. Who was he supporting? I imagine he's going to go his dad's side because, uh, you know, that, that's... Uh, Maybe. Be. He can, it depends who's winning, right? Yeah. Well, but yeah. <laughs> depends who's but winning. Unfortunately for him, England won at the weekend. And um, the, the Cambridges have been sort of looking in Berkshire. Maybe they're going to leave their country estate. Uh, Anne Mahal in Norfolk might be looking to live a bit closer to the Queen, which would be nice okay, because sure. she's been there for an awful long time. I still think they'll keep their sort of working life in London. But these rumours are circling that they're looking for a new school for him. So. Oh. Okay. Might be a lot of change in the Cambridge household at the moment. Excellent. Thank you, Russell. Thank you, Thank you very much for that romp through the royal family. Indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.